Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Just wanted to bring you a quick uh, review and demo of the Flexi Hand 2 uh, 3D printed prosthesis from our friend Steve Wood. This is his latest version of the very popular Flexi Hand. So, in comparison, I have here a Cyborg Beast. This is one of the popular models used within the Enable volunteer community. And uh, the main difference is that the Cyborg Beast uses two sets of, of cords, one uh, non-flexible running along the bottom of the fingers, which causes them to contract when the wrist is bent, and another version, another set of cords that's flexible that runs along the top of the fingers, which causes them to return to their uh, normal position, open position, when that uh, wrist is unbent. The difference with the Flexi Hand and the Flexi Hand 2 is the incorporation of flexible filament for these joints in here. And those joints take the place of those flexible tendon lines, so that now you only need one set of cords, which you can see running along inside those channels here. And those non-flexible cords, when again the same principle, when the wrist is bent, causes those fingers to flex in. And in this case, when the tension is released, it's the flexible filament joints that causes the fingers to return to their natural open position. So um, I added on some of these gel tips, which fit nicely and seem to do a real nice job of, of making it uh, a little grippier. So for the Velcro and the gauntlet, uh, I didn't do the sewing. I just kind of looped them through so you could sort of see what it would look like. But normally I would do these probably by sewing them onto each joint. So I'll show you here. It would be sort of like this. So this piece is, this piece is too long, but you can see it would be sort of, it would be coming off of each arm and then it would, it would just simply close around the wrist. So the way I have these looped through here is, is strictly temporary so that you can see it with the Velcro. And then we have a Velcro enclosure inside the palm area and that's where the palm would go and that's important because that's what allows you to pull down on the hand when the wrist is bent, which causes everything to activate. So there is an option to use a little bit of flexible filament that's in there to attach the Velcro. I went for what I think is a, a bit of a stronger approach by, by drilling holes through to use these Chicago screws. So I've got those attached. I'll show you inside here. So we can take this one off and see there's the Chicago screws coming through the other side. Of course, the, the soft side of the Velcro is facing the uh, skin. And then this other piece is laid in here to cover those Chicago screws. And now that those are covered, we can simply close this around and this folds down over. And then you have a little sort of glove to hold the palm and that's what allows us to then bend the hand forward causing the fingers to grasp. So obviously it's a, a beautiful design as you can see it is it's modeled after a real human hand and therefore looks uh, much more realistic and um, the gripping motion is nice. I opted to use the non-flexible cords as I mentioned. Now you can use a flexible type of cord and that will result in a bit more of an adaptive grip. So, for example, if you want to be picking up eggs and things like that, where you need the fingers to sort of close around in a variable manner based on the geometries of the object, you might explore using flexible uh, cables or flexible filament for these for these cords instead. I'm using a uh, what is this? A I think a 50 pound uh, fishing 50 pound test fishing line that's um, plenty strong for a test hand and results in sort of a, a stronger grip. You don't have that variable grasp, but it allows you to, for example, pick up heavier objects and, and grip with, with more strength. So you can see if we can just, yeah, we can just pick up objects pretty effectively. Um, let's see, I don't really have anything else here. Here's my, one of my little owl pieces that I printed.
So there it is. That is the Flexi Hand 2. This one is printed in silver PLA and uh, looks beautiful. So again, a, a wonderful contribution from Steve Wood of Gyrobot LTD. And uh, thank you for that. Look forward to seeing what the community comes up with from here. Thanks for watching, everyone.